Hi, I'm Simon. Welcome to Water Colour Wildlife. In this little video, I want to go through why I think you should buy a small set of high quality watercolours over a large set of much lower quality watercolours, uh, especially if you're just starting out in watercolours. Start this way, not this way. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to look at, I suppose, then is the the different sets that I'm working with here. So I've got the the Daniel Smith's watercolor essential set with six primary colors in it, um, or sorry, three primary colors, uh, two versions of each, and then I've got this one by Castle Art Supplies, and it's uh, 24 different colors. Um, this is, I think, about 30 pounds, 25, 30 pounds. Um, and this is about 30, 35 pounds. So a slightly more expensive set, this, this one, and obviously you get um, a quarter of the colors. But I wanna just go through why I think this is much better. Um, the first thing I suppose is, what happens when you run out of colors like this? When you buy a set like this, they come in a set like that, and you can't then buy individual colors uh, from the same manufacturer. So they don't sell their paint in tubes, they sell them in sets. So when you run out of a colour, you've either got to go and buy a whole new set just to get that colour, or you have to move to a different manufacturer, somebody like Daniel Smith or Winsor & Newton, or you know one of the big manufacturers of paint, who do sell their colours in individual tubes or pans. So that's the first thing to consider. You, once you finish the colour, you're not going to be able to uh, replace it. So first thing. The next thing I suppose is the, the confusion that it puts into your mind. It's far easier to learn watercolor and color theory using a basic palette. Your, your colors are gonna harmonize much better. You're gonna get less confused and you're gonna understand the process uh, much better if you start from a basic set like that. This would, would confuse me, you know, there's a, there's a lot of colors here. I've been painting for a long time, so I know where they fall on the color wheel, but still there's a, there's a big selection there, and especially some, as somebody starting out in watercolor, this is almost, it's, it's too much choice. You know, there, there's too much there. Um, so yeah, you're not gonna know what colors sort of work in the cool, whether they're cool or warm colors. Uh, you're not going to know what colours form uh, or fall opposite each other on the colour wheel properly. It's just going to be a much harder process. The other thing, obviously, is quality. So the the quality of the paint. Um, this is these work out probably about a pound a tube, and these are maybe five pounds a tube, something like that, five or six pounds a tube. So these are five or six times more expensive and there's got to be a reason for that and you know i know the reasons probably the main one is they don't include as much pigment in in cheaper watercolors so they'll use much more binding agent the stuff that they mix with the pigment uh to make paint basically so there'll be more of that and less pigment they'll also use lower quality pigments um you know daniel smith or any professional water any professional quality watercolor paint will have lots of pigment in it and much less binder in it. So these are gonna go much further. You know, a tube, any one of these tubes is gonna last me far longer than its equivalent in a lower quality water paint. So although it's much more expensive, you, you're getting, you know, think about it as like concentrated washing up liquid. You can buy it in a bottle or you can buy a, the same size bottle, but it's concentrated and you get twice, three times as much usage out of that. So it's the same with paint quality. If you buy decent paint quality, they will go further. Um, the other thing I suppose is that these colors are repeatable. You know, these big manufacturers have been making paint for a long time. They put a lot of time and investment into um, repeating those colors, you know. So I can go and buy that ultramarine blue five years ago or in five years time and it will be the same color, the same paint with the same consistency um, that I know. So, yeah, 
what what else is there to say i suppose i mean i think that pretty much covers it i'm going to do an in-depth video into the the paint quality sort of that's obviously probably the most important thing is the paint quality um and how it works on the page and also light fastness something that you're going to have an issue with with a cheaper set like this is that the the pigments that they use aren't going to be as permanent so it's going to fade and i'm going to do a test where i paint a picture with this we'll paint half a picture with this and half a picture with those and then leave it in the sun and just see which one kind of survives the longest and i know just from experience that this is going to fade um very very quickly um especially in specific colors so i hope that's given you just a quick look at the reasons i would go for a much smaller quality set rather than a big set starting like this um it's just going to confuse you so yeah start with a small set keep it simple this is a really good one and i've done a specific video on this set and why i think it's so good i'm not sponsored by daniel smith um, i use their paints so that's why i recommend them uh, and that is a really good set that's gonna yeah help you understand color theory which is which is really important it makes it really easy so i hope you've got some value out of this video give us a thumbs up if you're watching it on youtube uh, and i hope i'll see you in the next one